How's it going today, everybody? Eddie Kernan for Rexy Lab. Welcome to the Guitar Marine. Today we have the first of five of the basses that were damaged in the house fire belonging to uh, my client and good friend Bobby Boudreaux. This one right here is arguably the least valuable, but the most sentimental. It took the worst hit. I'm going to bring this thing back to life and I want to have everybody take special note of my attire because the Diodario Foundation donated strings for all five of these bases. Here we go. This thing is going to be a freaking nachtmare, but when I'm done with it, you, nobody will know the difference. Oh wow, just loosening up the strings is making dirt fall off. Yucky. It's very important to Bobby that I uh, try to keep that sticker intact. Oh! Plywood body. Swole a little. Who knows what this neck is? Holy crap, I'm a little impressed. It's shielded. Look at that. Or what's going on here? It's interesting. All right, that's got to be on my ground wire. Okay. Man, you can really see how dirty that is. Let's see if we got any kind of signal here. Well, isn't it nice that they made sure that the ground wire and the hot wire are two completely identical colors? What to do? What to do? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to put a black something or other on the ground wire. I don't know why in the world they felt compelled to run this uh, red wire all the way out, but they did. That's right, I'm going to have to deal with this a little later. I wonder if this is the same wrench. It is. Okay, good. That one's operational. So is that one. So is that one. There we are. <clears throat> All right. I have pieces of drywall falling out of this thing. This thing has been through a fire and the screws still aren't frozen like that freaking Ibanez fretless bass that I paid a lot of money to Mike and Mike's guitar bar for that they guaranteed was in pristine vintage condition. Thanks Mike and Mike's. I have an idea. I try to uh, cut it off short but not too short and then try to shove it out by getting extra jiggy with it. Aha! And just like that. Hopefully nothing else needs to be hit with a hammer, but I'm keeping it out just in case. Let's just drop some of these parts 
for a little naphtha bath. And we'll even naphtha it up a little bit more. Ooh, spare glove. I feel like reverse Michael Jackson. If you want to be starting something, got to be starting something. Yeah. Oh my God. This thing is such a mess. We're just going to start out with just a little soapy water, man. A little, little Dawn and a little water, man, because you know Dawn takes grease out of your way. I didn't know that it took soot out of your way. <sighs> okay. That right there might be an issue. Let's try some naphtha. Oh, just like that. Hells yeah. Hizzle to the yizzle. Let's get a look. Not bad if I do say so myself, and I do, and I did. Gonna have to remember to not break my own arm patting myself on the back, not just quite yet. I don't know why, but this base <clears throat> which should probably really make me want to listen to Def Leppard Pyromania more than anything else. Or maybe even the Scorpions is giving me this real uh, Ozzy Osbourne kind of Diary of a Madman, Blizzard of Oz sort of vibe. I was so impressed with the Music Nomad stuff that I decided to get their uh, polish and give that a shot. So let's find out if I made a good decision or no. Well, that looks like about a thousand times better to me if I do say so myself. Curious about this right here. Did I just make it go away? Hot dog, man! I wonder if I can do that other places. Probably not so much there. Heck, I'm cool with it, man. I made that a. Uh, I made that spot disappear right there, and I'm not rubbing it off with the uh, with the rags. So that's cool. That's good. That's good. All right, let's uh, let's get us a little look at this thing. Will this come off? A new. Am I going to differentiate? You know how I'm going to differentiate? I'm going to take the springs off the bottom one. Okay. Well, since it won't come off, we're going to just hit it with some naphtha, try to get it clean. Right. We already know this works, so let's go ahead and just put this top one back in. That looks like the black one. So we're going to shove this through right there. Since that's our hot. I'm going to mark it by putting this little alligator clip on it. Gonna kind of bundle that up right there. Good deal. And if it still works, that'd be even better. Let's see a 
about this thing right here. Okay, time to start pulling these things out. I'd say that that cleaned up pretty doggone nice. That's obviously a cheap copy of a Shaler bridge, but you know what? I mean, it does the trick. Why not? Uh, next, we're gonna move on to the electronics here. Okay, so now we just got to uh, get a little deoxid in these things right here. They sounded really, really good from the get-go, so we might be fine and dandy with them. That should be good. Let's put this back in. Should work, let's test it. Looks like champ. Fantastic. So now we put this thing down here. Well, that's severely no good. Fortunately, we can fix that. Okay, that is locked on there. Let's do just one little test, one last little test. I certify this body as ready for the neck. Unfortunately, that neck ain't ready for the body. The neck is in terrible shape. I should not have to get out jeweler's screwdrivers for the truss rod cover, man. Okay, that is not a good sign. That is a good sign. I should not be able to loosen these up with my fingers. That is no bueno, man. We will, we will write that wrong. Now I went through this thing once before and I'm pretty sure that I didn't leave it in this kind of shape, but I can't be too sure. Oh, come on. Don't be like that, man. Not the, not the last one. See if maybe this bigger screwdriver will fit. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's see. We got a lot of wiggle going on here. Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. This one. Okay. Cripes. All right. So somebody doubled up on this bushing. There are none here and there's one here. So without more bushings, these things aren't going to work worth anything. I'll dig around and see if I can find some in a minute. But first, I want to get going on this neck. I'm a little anxious to get it uh, cleaned up. Let's see. There we are. I'll put this in just a little bit of a back bow. That's a lot of a back bow. That's fine though. That'll make it easier when uh, when I go to adjust the truss rod. messed up area right there where it looks like somebody tried to do a little super glue action. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so it's pretty obvious what we got going on is this big old hole right here. Gotta do something about that. It's pretty serious. So I got some super glue, some 30. All right, so we got that going. Let's hit it with some accelerator. We'll try for that later. got an idea about it right here. I don't know if it'll work. I've never tried this before. We'll see. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. 
I don't know. I'll tell you what. If it does, I'm going to use this to win a $150 bet. I wonder if Accelerator will accelerate it. Kind of. I'm going to shine these things up right here. And get them back in. Two little drippy drops. One, two. That ought to be all that's needed. Hold that thing in place. While we're doing that, let's finish the sucker off with a little F1. It's time to put this neck back on this body. Let's get our four screws. And because I guarantee you this hasn't been done in decades if ever you get a little beeswax on here and you know what serial number still intact Diodario Foundation Thank you very much.
So close. Aha! We got a high fret. Every time I get to use this expensive tool, I'm doing it for free for somebody because of extenuating circumstances. certify this bass guitar done one down four to go and until next time this is eddie kernan for rexy lab making the world a better place one resurrected bass that was caught in house fire at a time <laughs>